Okay guys, so we just talked about our neural or our neurological and our hydraulic uh, stoppages and effects on the body. And the last one we're gonna talk about is mechanical. So I listed these in order of effectiveness. So obviously a neurological stop is the most effective. A hydraulic stop, because it will actually result in death, is the second most effective. And third is mechanical. It's the least effective, the least guaranteed, but um, it's becoming a much more accepted practice, uh, especially in the day and age where, one, there's a lot of drugs and things that are out on the battlefield, or cops deal with uh, dudes that are doped up a lot. Um, but also we recognize that um, you know, people carry rounds that individually do less damage than, say, full battle cartridges that, uh, you know, we used to carry on the battlefields uh, back in the day. And so we do have to get multiple hits on target and, you know, kind of pick our spots. So when we talk about a mechanical stoppage, what we are talking about is an actual shot that affects the body's ability to um, support its weight and to move. This may not kill the person. They may have plenty of fight left in them, but it's going to actually bring them down. So the typical shots associated with our cracking of the pelvis, so our shots to um, the pelvic girdle right here, and to the femur and the knees. And so what this basically is trying to do is we're trying to break the axle of the vehicle here. So if we get the pelvis to be cracked and the body cannot support its own weight, the guy may be able to use his hands, his arms, and function and fight, but he can't physically move. And so depending on the situation, that may be enough. And the same thing with the femurs and with the knees. If we can bring the guy to the ground, um, the amount of threat is lessened, especially if we're talking about potentially dealing with, um, you know, guys who have uh, suicide vests, um, guys who, you know, have grenades and stuff like that on the battlefield where they're trying to, uh, you know, set themselves up to, uh, you know, kill people that come close to him, or potentially guys who may be, um, you know, running or moving and, um, you know, hostage situation and stuff like that. We want to bring them to the ground so then we can continue, um, you know, and do whatever we need to do from there. So uh, when we talk about mechanical stoppages, this should be um, uh, a last resort when compared to our neurological stoppages or our hydraulic stoppages. But where this becomes very relevant is people who are wearing body armor and a lot of clothing. I always use this example to people when they start talking about how, oh, you know, well, in that close of an encounter, I just shoot them in the head. And I always bring up the example, things I've seen personally um, you know, in Iraq, and I'm not the only one, guys would wear, um, you know, dishdashas, so they wear freaking rags on their head and a lot of loose clothing. And so you look at that and, you know, actually figuring out where is the head in that scenario? Where is your good shot in the face in there? It's hard to tell when guys wear a lot of clothing. So if the guy has body armor on and a lot of clothes, and your rounds don't have immediate effect, even though uh, you think they're good shots. Now maybe now we have to shift down to the pelvic girdle or something like that, depending. Or this could also be if the guy is taking cover behind something and all that presents itself is a lower body or a mechanical shot. All right, so um, this is, again, our last resort when it comes to that. Guys who have studied blade work and um, you know who have done a little bit of uh, knife training, knife work, or read historical accounts and stuff will know just how effective stuff like this can be. So not only when we talk about our weight bearing, but um, shots that sever things like the muscles and the tendons can bring a person down. Um, so muscles, as we know, can only control the body by contracting, uh, meaning a muscle can never move a particular limb or extremity with its relaxation or its inability. So I can only move it by contracting. So if I sever the tendons, sever the muscles here, the guy can't physically move the arm or maybe he can't physically grip uh, a knife, a bat, a gun, a grenade, something like that. So again, mechanical stoppages, we want to go for things that are big, things that are hard pelvic girdle, femurs, all right, if we go down from there, but again, last result. So, um, you know, up front, stated just one more time, remember, shot placement is always the key. If you don't hit it, it doesn't matter how much damage you could do if you did hit it. Number two is open multiple holes. You hit the body more than one time, you have more chances that you hit something that stops the guy or does a lot of damage right up front. And number three is faster, fatter, bigger, heavier rounds do more damage, um, especially when we're talking rifle rounds. But if we talk about pistol rounds using modern hollow points, that's not nearly as effective. So again, shot placement, hit the dude multiple times and get the frick out of there. All right, so remember guys, only the hits count and you can never miss fast enough to catch back up.